buzzard. Hello. That was a pretty buzzard. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all well. It's a Saturday. It's a beautiful day. About 16 degrees out, actually. I am um, originally put like bib tights on and um, all like thermal gear because I thought it was going to be cold but it's not at all so <sighs> actually nice to have a bit of good weather we're just out today to go and do the Y Valley Greenway so we'll be going through the Titan Tunnel which should be fun. We've almost missed it this year because it shuts at the end of the month. I see chatting about. We're out on the electric bikes today. Oh. We're just um, heading up the back road to St. Breville's and then we'll get on the main road and head down to Chepstow Way. Then I'll be off to go find the tunnel. Always a headwind, isn't there? Actually avoiding the forest today and the um Monmouth end of the Y because it's um, the Glorious Gravel event today so there's going to be lots of cyclists out having fun doing that we're not doing it this time obviously so we thought we'd keep out of the way oh, I even had a neck warmer on I took that off straight away as soon as I got out the door yeah, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. Been meaning to do it for ages, but we keep getting sidetracked by other routes or just going out in the woods. So today's the day. We actually haven't even been down to Chepstow for a while, not on the bikes. We did go to Chepstow Garden Centre. Um, Last weekend, I think, I wanted some plants. So we popped out. Had a nice lunch, actually. They do quite a good roast dinner. Or good value for money. At least it's, um, it was 12 quid and it was massive. I'm not sure all of the vegetables were fresh. Broccoli was. coming up into St. Breville's now. Won't see the castle today. I doubt I'll keep up with him on the flats today with this headwind. Hey, yeah. I wonder if that's another glorious gravel rider. I'm sure the route looked like it was going along this main road a bit. I should have had some ice cream. I think it's actually warm enough for ice cream. There's a couple of places this way that do ice cream. Nice view over there, over the seven. Not 
not sure you'll see it though. You're a bit low down. That's Offers Dyke in there. Or you can get onto Offers Dyke anyway. We've been for a walk there many, many years ago. I think I was about 17 or 18. Would have probably been Tom's first car. One of his minis. I think it was the little navy blue one. There's one of the ice cream places. The other one's Chase Farm, I think, at Tidenham Chase. I definitely need to get his radar thingy. It seems quite good. It's good enough that when I'm out with him, I get an advance warning of what's behind me as well. This corner's a bit rough. I'm very wary still of these tyres on um, tarmac. I'm going to swap them out. I'll probably get the, um, the Schwab um, G1 bike, same as what I've got on my gravel bike, my other gravel bike, because they're great on everything and I've never slipped out on tarmac on them. I had to set this bike up for tubeless even though um, the rims are tubeless and the tyres were tubeless it wasn't actually set up and these tyres were an absolute pain in the arse to get off the rims. If I had had a puncture and been on my own I would never have been able to change them. So hopefully now, tubeless at least, I shouldn't get a puncture that's too bad, it doesn't seal itself. We're nearly in Sedbury. Oh, what is that? That seems like a bit of your bike. Oh, where did it go? That's interesting. It went pink and there it is. Well, goodness, there's a bit of an excitement. And you've got tools. Oh. Well, it's got to go back in, hasn't it? He lost one of the bolts from his saddle, which apparently he tightened up last week, so. Adjusted it last week, didn't I? And tightened it back Yeah, I remember, yeah. Is it sheared? Like, all the thread has gone, or? <laughs> Luckily, we managed to find it. I heard something go before the bolt actually flew out, though, unless it was just the saddle shifting a good start isn't it actually well we're all probably a third of the way through now so he got that far let's hope he can fix it riding back with no, saddle. no it's lucky we've got um breakdown cover isn't it just in case <sighs> right well a little interlude then he's not sure he's got a tall long enough it's not very easy to reach so I have got a couple of spare longer ones that might yeah okay right okay let's see if we can fix this then well that seems to be sorted although he thinks it's in a different place than where it was so Ah, 
Oh, I found a quieter road now. Hi. How does it feel? Horrible? Might be better. Oh, okay. I don't know yet. You're quite far forward, but my thumb feels a bit more comfortable. Uh, can I have yet another video where no one can hear you? I guess you have to buy a new mic. The battery's just dead. Yeah, but it's been charging. Uh, I hope mine doesn't go as well then. I also do not trust these tyres on loose material on the tarmac. music playing quite loud somewhere isn't there can you not hear it it's like bass somewhere I realized something turned my bike back on which I might be about to do in a minute I suppose they're not always perfectly flat are they Downhill because we're going down to the river. Yeah. We're now on the um, Y Valley Greenway heading towards the tunnel. It is a tide in the tunnel, isn't it? Yeah, I never know. Some pronounce it one way, some another. Yeah. These tyres and rims are WTB, so you'd think they'd be all right, but um, I'm sure they are. They're probably just not meant for tarmac. I need something a bit more all round. Though the rims were a bit interesting as well, because they've got the special WTB set up with the groove down in the middle. And, um, when I went to set them up and take them they hadn't got the special bit that goes under the tape so I've just taped it but um, they've been fine no leaks no depressurising I did actually look to see if I could buy the bit that goes in the middle but um, it seems to be out of stock absolutely everywhere so I just cracked on. I've been enjoying this bike so far. It's good fun. I've got a size medium, which suits me fine. I'm quite gangly, I've got quite long legs. So I tend to go for a slightly bigger frame. range seems good haven't tested it further than about 75 kilometers though so it would go further and it, it, that was on a very hilly route as well that was on the um Skenfrith route so that was about 3,000 3,000 feet of climbing I think over 40 mile just over 40 mile I mean, the range is going to depend on how you ride it anyway, isn't it? So it's not really a, it's a personal thing. At the moment, I've got it completely switched off, so. 
here. Oh, look, here's the tunnel. Have to switch our lights off. Your back one is on, isn't it? That might, does that even switch off? Oh, look at this. Exciting. Should have taken a photo. Oh, right, we're just switching our lights off and um, getting set up. I think he's going to check his bolts again because <laughs> if that comes loose in there, we'll never find it. And then we're going to go through the tunnel. I don't know how well this camera is going to pick that up, actually, because it's not that great with um, night vision. We shall see. Going to be fun, though. Oh, have you seen this as well? Look, um, on top of the gates. Let's just wander up here. Look, there's bats. How cool is that? Right, well, oh, the sun's in my eyes there. I'll have to take my sunglasses off too. We'll do that and then off we shall go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, this is cool. Taking another photo. Right. Okay, as usual, we've mucked about for however long. Okay. I hope the camera does pick this up because it's very cool and it's very cold. <laughs> I think technically you're supposed to keep left, but there isn't anyone coming, so after you. Disconcerting actually, I can't tell if we're going downhill or not. I think we must be. Oh, it just dripped on me, unless that was a bat poo. It's like being in a cave. Well, I suppose, yeah. bit of footage will be pitch black and grainy. Oh look! Oh it's getting warmer. Yeah. Hi. Oh, it's warmer out here. Oh, there we are then. We're at the other end. That was fun. It was cold in there. Mind you, it wasn't for very long, but um, you might want sleeves in there if you do go through. Do not scrape your bike again. <laughs> He's well and truly scraped that up. That was cool though. I don't know how much that would have picked up. Find out though. And it's nice and warm out here. I'm actually getting hungry. I'm wondering if I can tempt him to stop in Tintin for a sandwich. He doesn't usually want to stop for lunch, but I'm starving. It's not actually lunch, it's like a bit late. I haven't eaten today though. 
we'll see if we can tempt him. If I end up with rabies in a week, it's because that bat pooed on my head. I don't know how long it takes to get rabies, actually. Uh, yeah. So let me turn my motor back on. Uh, yeah. It is true. I've just forgotten about it. There was a landslide along here this year, so um, it, officially it was shut for actually quite a long time. So we didn't even attempt to go earlier on in the year. I think, to be honest, it was still passable, but they were asking you not to come this way, so... turn my lights back on either but I suppose it's like daylight so <sighs> sort it in a bit do you like these little cat's eye lights I've been using these for a while on all my bikes now I go for the battery ones, not the rechargeable ones though, because they last longer. And I always forget to recharge the um, rechargeable ones. <sighs> My first set of these I've had, I don't know. I reckon I might have had them a year now and they still haven't lost charge. The battery hasn't died. But the charge at once, I find you have to charge them like every few weeks, so pain. Oh, look, yeah, they should do that one as well. Oh, are they? They are gradually doing more and more of them, aren't they, into cycle tracks and whatnot. They, they want to do the one by us as well, don't they? Uh, uh, yeah, I missed it again. I was too busy chatting. Oh, yeah, I see it. There's the Abbey. Hey, yeah. We're going to go over the bridge now into Tinton. Over the River Y. <sighs> Lovely views. Oh, yeah, it's very nice along here. <sighs> and are we going to get some food? With any luck see what he says when we get up here. I don't know if they'll be open though because it's getting quite late. I don't know what time they stay open till this time of year. Oh, they are open. There we are then, we've just pulled up at the filling station cafe at Tintin, so I we're just gonna grab something to eat real quick. I'm gonna get him to do this for me. I'm surprised you're trusting your saddle with that after it um, is not on there very well. Okay, the way it goes, so yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna let you do mine because I'm always worried that I'm gonna like drop it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. 
yeah, going to get some food. There's the Abbey, look. Just up there. We're not going that way, though. Right, off we go. I'm always cold on this section. What on earth is my thing doing? Gone off on a tangent. There we go, that's better. Oh, I've got cafe legs. find somewhere to move my lock as well it's always digging into my it rubs on my inner thigh it's really annoying how you get up this hill my legs are completely dead i'm just saying i've got cafe legs and i was also just saying and was also just saying i think that cheese might try climbing its way back out up here i'm not sure doing climbs after you've just eaten is very good for you Good for your gut, yeah. Oh. Ah. It should be all right though. I might just whack my bow drop on full. <laughs> it really is a lovely day, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? It's windy, but um, the wind's not cold either, is it? It's actually... Oh, you think it's cold. I was cold coming down there, but I always am. Soon be warming up when we go up here. Right, let's get going. The glorious gravel came down here, but the opposite way. It would have been earlier on today. It's nearly four o'clock now. It's a lovely view when you come down the other way. Ooh, marrows. I haven't had a marrow, a stuffed marrow, in ages. I haven't exactly got anywhere to stick that though, have I? Shut up. I wonder what else people want to know about this bike. It's got um, flared handlebars, which are very comfortable. I thought they might be a bit wide for me actually, but um, they're fine. I wrap the drops with a little bit extra just so they're a bit more comfortable. Plus, I found this bar tape that um, perfectly matches the colour of the bike, so would have been rude not to. I bought it second hand, but it was literally, it was three months old and um, the previous owner had only ridden it a few times it had two charge cycles and um 26 miles on the bike battery and it was pristine because it was pristine the paintwork perfect i had it wrapped as well before i um took it out on the gravel because my other bike, my other gravel bike, is well scratched up. And I didn't want the same going on with this one. But 
but I think it was a really good deal. Had all the original paperwork. And it came with freebies too, some CO2 canisters and a, like the CO2 pump thingy. And um, I got a free saddle bag as well. I was well pleased. Did have to go a long way to go and pick it up though, but I think it was worth it for the price. So. I changed the saddle on it because I couldn't stand the original saddle that came with it. find it very uncomfortable like very hard on my bits so that went pretty quick I've got a um riot or a riot I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced their ultimate just the carbon saddle that's got ever such a slight bit of padding on it I find them very comfortable. I've got the same on my road bike as well. Now just heading back on the same road we were this morning, so... <sighs> Relatively smooth tarmac on these roads, actually. Quite nice compared to all the potholy stuff. Well, unless anything exciting happens in the next few minutes, I think I'm going to sign off for this video. It's been a lovely day, beautiful weather. It's about time we had some good weather and I really enjoyed that ride. I enjoyed going through the tunnel. I would recommend doing that. It was good fun. So thank you very much for watching um, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. We were going to stop at the co-op for a bottle of wine when we planned to go out this morning, but um, got nowhere to put it. Taking my big bag off. And I am not cycling home with a bottle of wine stuffed down the back of my jersey. 